Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us again for what's for dinner. Um, tonight we're going to make a vegan version of broccoli and cheddar soup and I'm going to add some potatoes to it too just to give it a little bit of substance. So um, we've had this meal before so we won't do a taste test but we do love it. That's why I make it. We just want to show you guys how we make it and what it looks like. Um, honestly, it looks and tastes, actually maybe tastes better, but it looks just like the regular broccoli and cheddar soup. But um, as far as taste, I, I'm, I'm, I'm biased because I love all my food, but it tastes really good. So um, we're going to get the ingredients together, get this all out, and then get started cooking, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's get cooking. All right, so here are the ingredients. So, of course, we're going to use a little avocado oil to... It's not going to really saute the veggies in the crock pot. We're going to put it in the crock pot. Um, got the temperature right now at high, and I'll turn it down to about four hours. I'll link in the description where I got this recipe from. Um, so, again, a little avocado oil. I'm going to saute up some onions or put some onions in there. I've got some minced garlic, shredded carrots, um, and then I'm going to use frozen cauliflower and broccoli. All works the same. So I got my cauliflower. This is the onion, mixed garlic y'all know I always use. Um, cauliflower, two bags of broccoli florets. Don't have to microwave them or nothing like that. It'll create its moisture inside the crock pot as it's cooking. Um, here I've got the, about half of this is the not chicken bouillon cubes. Again, these are vegan. So I've got half of that. And then the other half is going to be the veggie broth. Um, so I just decided to mix the two together. I didn't want as much as this because it has a lot of sodium in it. And this one doesn't have, oh, well, looks like they both got about the same. Let me see. Um, no, this one has more sodium in it than the other one does. So I wanted to kind of like lessen the amount of sodium, season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. We've had this before in the past. Just wanted to show you guys how we do it. So I'm going to let hubby help me with the camera today and we're going to get this all in the crock pot. It'll cook for about three hours. Then I'll show you what I'll do to make the sauce for the um, cheese part of it. Go. Thank you, Carlissa. So into the crock pot, I'm going to put in... <laughs> Trying to get them, the onions. So, and some avocado oil. So, it says two, three tablespoons. I just pour a little bit in there. Or a little more. Just a little bit. Enough to put it in there. Now, I've had this crock pot on for a little while, so it is kind of hot to the touch on the outside. Just to warm it up and get it going for me. I'm going to put these in. See, they don't sizzle or anything because it doesn't get that hot to do this. It's a slow cooker. But I'm going to put the onions in first at the bottom, kind of mix them around in our mixture just a little bit. Get them down in there. Doesn't take a whole lot. And then I'll add in the garlic at the bottom. And I already measured out the amount that I needed. So I'm going to slide that in there. Look at those carrots trying to hop down in there already. All right. So I've got garlic in there and onions. And I'm just going to mix those two together for just a little bit. Let the heat hit them. Not going to really cook them down as much, but it'll do a little something because it was already on warming up. All right. Get these all down in there some. Right. Next, I'm going to add in a bag of cauliflower, half a bag of cauliflower, and one full bag of broccoli, and then pour some broth on that with a little salt and pepper. And then I'll do the last with the carrots on top. Grab my scissors. Ooh, almost cut my foot off. I won't touch you, I promise. You think I'll cut you? 
I won't tell you. All right, so I'm gonna do half of the bag of cauliflower, get it on down in there. And then half of the bag of broccoli, or well, the whole bag of this broccoli. Pour that down in there. <clears throat> Sprinkle a little salt and pepper. This is how I get my flavor in here. I didn't measure this. I just cook with spirit. A little pepper. And then I'm going to pour the broth on top of that one. That way a lot of it gets its moisture. Okay. Mash that down there, and it doesn't matter which broth you go with first. Again, like I said, I'm just mixing up the two to give it a little bit more flavor. And I did the veggie broth, so it didn't have as much sodium. Okay, so I got that down in the first portion of it. Now I'm going to take and put the rest of it on top. So I'm going to use the rest of the cauliflower. And I'm going to go ahead and put the carrots in. Trying to get the broccoli, the rest of the broccoli open. So I put carrots on in. And this is how we get our broccoli and cheddar soup without having to have, with, with, and making it vegan. So it's dairy free. And I think this one's keto friendly. So those of you who may be keto vegan, this is keto friendly as well. I think the cashews may be a little bit much, but because we only use so many of them, it um, doesn't really go against your numbers as far as carbs go because we use a very few for a big batch of this. All right, so I've got these in. I'm going to use not all of this because the reserve of this broth here, I'm going to um, use for the cheese sauce. So I'm going to put a little bit. Need a little more. Almost all of it in there. Again, sprinkle with a little bit more salt and pepper. And you can taste it throughout to see if you need to add any more. Make it taste how you want it to taste as far as the seasonings go. My fan is on blowing my pepper around. Don't start sneezing. All right. Get that stirred down in there. Turn my temperature and timer down. I'm gonna let this cook for about three, three and a half hours and then I'll come back and add the cheese sauce and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Get this lid on and that's that. So that's it for right now for the broccoli and cheddar soup. Let that cook for about, thank you loves. Let that cook for maybe about, let's see, three and a half, four hours and then I'll come back and check it. All right, so this is how the soup is looking. It is almost done. I'm going to give it a quick stir. Um, I forgot I'm going to add some potatoes to it. So ours won't be keto friendly when I add the potatoes to it, but the potatoes actually gives it a little bit of um, filler room. Um, the soup is yummy the way it is, but we found that we like the potatoes a lot. So I'm going to take and add um, maybe one russet potato to this mixture and then... Um, blend it all together while I um, chop up the potato and get ready for put to put that in I'm also going to go over and make the cheese sauce that's going to go in here all right stay tuned so for the cheese sauce we've got the cashews that are soaking I'm going to take and rinse those off um, we've got some Dijon mustard some lemon juice and nutritional yeast and then the rest of the veggie broth is going to go in the mixture as well. We're going to put all that into the blender, blend it up, and um, then we will have the cheese sauce for the broccoli and cheddar soup. Then I'm going to put that along with the potatoes um, into the crock pot and we'll turn it up to 
I think high because I turned it down to low a little bit because I wanted to cook a little longer. We'll turn it up and then we will um, put it on for about 20 more minutes and dinner will be done. So let's blend up the cheese sauce real quick while the potatoes are boiling. All right, so the cashews are all rinsed off. I'm gonna add these in. Then we're gonna add, I'm gonna do the dry ingredients first, some nutritional yeast. Again, I'll, the recipe will be down in the description box for you guys. So you'll be able to know how to make this yourself. So we've got the nutritional yeast in there. And I'm gonna add in some Dijon mustard. I really don't measure it. It tells me how much, but I try to just oops, squeeze a little in. It's kind of nasty, y'all. <laughs> so, all right. Squeeze in just a little. That's about that much. <laughs> My daughter's holding the camera right now and trying not to laugh. You got it? Got it. All right. We'll make sure the people can see. All right, then we're going to add in a little lemon juice. Could have used fresh squeezed lemon, but, you know, I, I always just do a heaping amount of that. And then I'll add in the last piece, the remaining veggie broth. And then blend this up, add it to our mixture, cook it for another 30 minutes, and boom. So I'm adding in the rest of the veggie broth. I'm going to go ahead and blend that up, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so this is what it looks like all blended up. It's just, honestly, just a liquidy cheese sauce. I'm going to take and put that over into the crock pot and the potatoes and... Um, blend it up. Sorry about my finger. Blend it up and we should have our soup done in about 30 minutes. All right. So I've got the potatoes done. I just wanted to soften them just a little bit. They didn't need to boil all the way. I'm going to scoop them out. Didn't feel like draining them, being extra. <laughs> so I'm going to scoop them out into the crock pot. Literally, maybe about two potatoes. Mine were little, so it's three of them. But you don't need a whole lot of potatoes in here. Again, this just helps to make it creamier for us as we're making our mixture. Put the rest of this over here. Scared you, didn't I? Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to put these little guys on in. Like so. Okay. Those are done. I'm going to put these back over here. And <clears throat> then I'm going to take my cheese mixture and pour that in here. And y'all know me. We going to waste not. We Four. want not. So I'm going to take and scrape that all down in there. Make sure I get all of that out. Huh? Hands in the way. Oh, okay. They know what I'm doing, though. All right, so I'm scraping that in there. I got most of it out of there. And I'm just going to stir that up together. Check out this cheesy look. I mean, come on, y'all. Looks almost like the real thing. Because it is the real thing, it's just cashew cheese sauce instead of dairy. So there you have it. Take and mix this in. I'm going to turn the temperature up, put the lid back on, let this cook down for about 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to um, mash it with the masher instead of putting it back in the blender because I don't feel like it. Or maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see. If my arms feel like mashing, we'll mash. But I've got it all mixed up. I'm going to take and put the lid back on, set a timer for... 30 minutes, turn it to high, and then we will come back and see the finished product. So I'm gonna turn my temperature up to high, and I'm gonna leave it on this two hour marker, but I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. We'll be back. All right, so it has been cooking for about 
ooh, 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna actually, instead of me using the mer um, the masher, I'm gonna take, this is what it looks like, y'all. Looks good, huh? Take the masher, I mean, instead of the masher, I'm gonna take and put it in the blender. So I'm gonna mix some more of it up together. I'll probably take about two cups of it and put over in there. That way it's not, like we still have some texture in the soup. You can see you still got broccoli and uh, that was cauliflower, <laughs> broccoli. And you got a few potatoes that's still hole in here somewhere. Oh, here we are. A few whole potatoes. So, I'm going to take about two cups of this. And put it in the blender. Yeah, I think two cups will do. Because then that way we'll still have some chunkiness. And I may match this up just a little bit. Um, so it's not too many big pieces in there. All right, so let's go to the blender. So something in me told me not to clean it out because I wanted the rest of my cheese sauce, so I didn't. So I'm going to place that in there. And this blender does work with hot ingredients as well. So I'm gonna take and blend it up a little bit and then pour it back into the pot. Hold please, the blender's loud. <clears throat> so it's blended, I blended for about 30 seconds. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna take and put that mixture in and then still probably mash a little bit more. All right, let's go back to the crock pot. So I've got my trusty potato masher and I'm gonna pour in the mixture I blended. That's what it looks like into there. Take in, y'all know me, get all my stuff out. Mm, I almost got it all out of there. Y'all know the gist of it. Waste not, want not. All right, I think I got all of it or enough of it. All right, so I got that in there. You can see it's made it even more creamier, more soupier versus more liquid. Gave it that thickness. Now I'm going to take the potato masher and just kind of mash down some of my bigger pieces. So we'll have still some big pieces, but not those huge pieces you guys saw in the soup. Take and stir to see what we're working with. Get rid of a few more big pieces, but I think we're doing good. All right, a few more pieces in there. Kind of too big. All right, I think that did it. All right, so this is what our broccoli and cheddar soup looks like. Looks just like anybody else's broccoli and cheddar soup. Just saying. I'm going to put these in bowls. And sprinkle a little vegan cheese on top. And then that'll be it. So, let's get a scoop. <clears throat> Look at that. Creamy goodness. Two, uh, I'll do maybe three. That there. Add a little vegan cheese to the top of it. And voila, let's go look. All right, so here's the finished product. Let's sprinkle a little vegan cheese on top. And bam. You've got broccoli and cheddar soup, vegan style. <laughs> Thanks love so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoy. If you decide to make it, definitely let me know. Remember, the recipe will be somewhere in the description box for you to pull it up and see and make it your way. Tweak it to how you need to so that way it tastes and looks and feels like you want it to. Um, and then go from there. But let me know if you do make it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Thanks, loves. Be blessed and less stress. Chauncey Speaks. Mm -hmm.